Welcome to another episode of Hair Biz Radio with your host, Zakira and Mikey. Okay. <laughs> she always gives me a hard time about my intro. So I was like, she's like, you got to But it's it like up. the intro. <laughs> That's so, the intro. Mikey. <laughs> okay, it's back. It's yes, back. It's so back. we're back. And today is going to be more of a motivational slash inspirational episode where we're going to talk about not just how to build your hair business, but we're going to talk about the mindset that is keeping you back from actually getting started. And then some of the things that you need to incorporate within your life to actually have a successful business. Absolutely. Let's jump into it. Yes, let's do it. So let's start with maybe Mikey has private label has been around since 2015. 15, 2014, 14, 2014. So going into actually starting the business, what do you feel like was that thing that kept you mentally grounded to actually keep going to keep going? Yeah. I think it was all my other businesses failed. Yeah. <laughs> and I said, this was going to be the last time. Yeah. I'm going to have to make changes in my life to make changes in my business. Mm -hmm. And once I made, started making changes because it was changes that continued to happen over time as yeah. the business got bigger. It was those changes that actually really did change the business. And one thing I did do is focus a lot more on education and learning about different ways to run a business, about yeah. marketing and all those aspects that really helped me. But it was, it was, I had to make a change. I really wanted to provide for my mother. Mm -hmm and basically retire her. And then I just didn't want to live a life of just always trying to just keep up. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I think that um, when it comes to businesses, like a lot of people will start, stop, start, stop, because there's no like love. Like it's not that you don't love it that much. It's like you love it, but it's not giving you what you want it, what you would like for it to give you when you start. And so some people never continue on. I feel like I've gotten to a place where I've grown business maturity is what I'll call it. Like when it comes to, okay, this didn't work, so I'm going to stop doing this or this didn't work. It's like, no, you want to keep going because eventually it will work. Like you'll fail a ton of times before you actually succeed. So if you can get through the the valley or the fails, you'll be able to get to the peaks a lot faster. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, I was going to say there's actually a really cool photo that, so it's like a drawn photo uh -huh. and it's someone had had a pickaxe and they were just going through digging, 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 digging. Yeah. And on the other side of this wall was the whole thing of gold or, mm. or the, the treasure. Yeah. And he basically, it kept going down, and then he basically had just a little bit, maybe a couple more hits. Wow. And he would have broken through, but then he stopped because he's like, I'm giving up. Oh, man. And and sometimes in business, what happens is you don't give it enough time yeah. for success. There is definitely a time where you're like, okay, this is definitely not it. This is not working. But sometimes people don't give it enough time for success, and they go for that instant gratification. The longer you can do, you can pay yourself, the longer, the more you can give back, the more that you can do to just continue to grow your business without taking from the business, Yeah, you will reach a higher level of success. Yeah. There was something similar on social media uh, a while ago. I saw it was a guy and there were almost, there was like stairs and then there were, there was like a, a trampoline type of thing under him. And he was walking up the stairs and like he would get kind of a third way through and then fall on the trampoline, get back up and be maybe on the second step and then fall and then get back up and be kind of uh, halfway through and then fall again. And then he'd get back up. And then finally he kept doing that. And then he fell and ended up on the top of the thing. So the message was you may fall a hundred times, but if you keep getting back up, you'll eventually get to that next step. You'll eventually get to the top. You'll eventually accomplish that goal. You'll eventually build a successful business. So all those things, you want to make sure you're just not giving up at the bare minimum. It's like, oh, this isn't working, so I'm going to just give up. 
Yeah, that's why I'm, I'm so upfront with people, even if someone's asking me advice for starting a business. And the first thing I said, it's not going to be easy. Right. Yeah. It's it's great that you're passionate about whatever this is, if it's the hair industry or whatever mm-hmm. type of business. That does not mean you're going to be successful. Yeah. And not everybody is made to be an entrepreneur is very emotional. Yeah, that is very true. I think that everyone was meant for a purpose. And sometimes I really hate like it, it bothers me so bad how society has glamorized like if you don't own your own business then what are you really doing with life and it's like everyone is not meant to own their own business some people are meant to work for someone because it just works for them better or it is what they were called to do like some people just really enjoy working with people and so they want to work for a company some people don't have the um, they don't have the desire to want to run the ins and outs of a business. And so it's like, just because you don't own a business doesn't mean that you're not successful. <laughs> there are plenty of people that are very successful yeah, that work for other companies. Definitely. Like people in corporate who make seven figures, eight figures, like the tech industry. There's there's a lot of people that make a lot of money doing things other than being an entrepreneur. Um, And I think that when it comes to entrepreneurship, you have to have the skin for it. Like there's going to be sad days, up days. You may make 10K one day, zero dollars another day. Like, Yeah, it's it's a roller coaster ride. But what I think you have to do, and this comes from working in the restaurant industry when I was younger, Mm -hmm. was there would be days where you'll just kill it one day. Yeah. And then the next day slow. So what I noticed from the other my coworkers was for them, it was an emotional roller coaster Mm -hmm. because they didn't understand the law of averages. And I said, look there, because they would ask me, say, Mikey, how do you not freak out when it's slow and this, that? And I said, well, I'm looking at the whole week or whole month timeline. And over this time, I know I'm averaging about this and I'm good. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to get super hyped up one day that it's busy and I make all this money. And I'm not going to get super upset on a day that it's slow. I'm looking at a longer horizon of time and averaging it out. And if you do that as an entrepreneur as well, then, you know, and you set your goals, you might, you know, set some lofty goals because you might not, you're probably not going to meet it anyway. Yeah. So you shoot for the stars, but have a realistic expectations as well. Yeah. I think that the mindset that people have when it comes to why they haven't started their business, why they haven't kept going in their business. The first thing you kind of mentioned it before is the instant gratification. You want it right now and it's not happening that way. Like you're not going to build the website, get the domain name, start posting on social media, and then boom, you make thousands of dollars in one month. It's not happening. So it's like the mindset is if, if I don't get it right now, then it just failed or it doesn't work or I don't want it anymore. So I think that as a a collective, we all have to get rid of the mindset of instant gratification. Everything takes time. Like a baby takes time to be born, like a, a cake takes time to be baked. Like everything literally takes time to, to create what it's supposed to create. So we have to get rid of the mindset of, I want it now. Like, I think when people go into building businesses, it should be, how will this look in five years? How will this look in one year? Like, what is something I can do every single day to build it, to make it what I'd like for it to be? And I think it's important, especially if you're a new entrepreneur or even someone's been around for a while, you yeah. have to really create that plan. Definitely. I actually just came out with a download on the Hair Business Blueprint website. So if you go to hairbusinessblueprint.com, <laughs> yeah. no, you can have the, you can download the Hair Business Planner and it helps plan everything nice. for your business. Yep. So that's a, that's a good tool. Mm-hmm. And the reason why I created that is I felt like people just kept getting distracted and lost. Yeah. And they don't have a plan. Mm-mm. You can't execute if you don't have a plan. You think right. the army, the U.S. Army goes to war and you don't think they have a, a well thought out plan. Yeah. Very much so. That's really good. The, so, I love the plan. Yeah. So you have to have the plan and then you have to be organized. So it's so important because if you're just spinning wheels, you might be working, but you're spinning wheels. Mm-hmm. That doesn't mean you're actually getting anywhere. Right. Exactly. So stop spinning wheels, come up with a plan, be organized, and then start pushing things forward. Yeah. And take time. Like as you were talking about the plan, like when you're planning, it doesn't have to be you do it all at one time. Like take time, maybe set aside 
two hours out of the week, depending on what your schedule is, or maybe 30 minutes a day or even 15 minutes a day where you can literally sit and water the plan. It's like, okay, I did the front half of the plan. Let me work on the back half of the plan. Like, let me figure out, let me just brain dump. Like I'm pretty sure there's pages in there where you can just Mm -hmm. brain dump. So make sure you figure out what is going to work before you actually get started. And then also be open to shifting because sometimes you may need to pivot or shift or make a change in what it is that you're doing. Yeah. When you're making plans and, and goals, none of it's set in stone, right? Right. You're just writing it down on paper Mm -hmm. so you can make changes and you probably will because what you think of today, after you learn after a month, six months, a year, you are, you should be in a better place and have a better understanding of how everything works. Right. So sometimes I think about for myself, why I haven't sold a hundred million dollars in a year. It's not that it's not a hundred percent possible. I haven't figured out how to do it. So you have to, at some point, be honest with yourself as an entrepreneur and understand you don't know everything. Mm-hmm. You need to continue to learn from others that have done it. Yeah. Listening to podcasts, listen to listening or reading eBooks or like a books yeah. or there's so many different resources. Take online courses, learn about specialties as far as selling online, marketing. It just goes on forever. Yeah. You will never learn everything and that's okay. So don't, don't get frustrated with that. But you can always you can always strive to be better. Yeah, definitely. I think um, the other part of that is making sure that you're taking care of things outside of business that will help you get the leg up in business. So, for example, uh, one one thing that I I'm very passionate about now is making sure that I'm creating systems within my life because those will automatically spill over into business as well. So it's like nighttime routine, morning routine, like making sure the bed is made up, making sure I'm eating every meal during the day, like make those little itty bitty things that you're being mindful of will help you to be mindful doing things in your business as well. I think one of the best things you can do for yourself and you have to find the time obviously, but just go for a walk. Yeah. So I try to, yeah, yeah, I walk for, I try to walk at least an hour a day Mm -hmm. on either be trying to teach myself from Mandarin to listen to an ebook, to catching up with a friend because I don't, I work so much. I don't really have as much time. I, it's definitely a time where I'm not really in front of a computer. Mm -hmm. I'm not really on my phone and it's just, and sometimes I just walk in silence and it's great. I just let my brain think and just give everything a break. But yeah, you're getting that health because you have to focus on your energy Yeah, because you're not going to be successful as an entrepreneur if you don't have the energy to succeed. Right. So you have to also be mindful of, Hey, I need to make sure I'm taking care of my body because that's also taking care of your mind and you're going to have energy to get up early. Like this morning I started working. I think I posted on Instagram, like my cup of coffee, like cheers to the morning, 445. Nice. Started early, but that doesn't mean you have to start early to be right. successful. Some people work better at night. I actually used to work better at night. Now I'm more of a morning worker. Yeah. And it's just one of those things. I'm like, okay, I, by one o'clock I've put in a full day. Right. Yeah. But and I that puts you ahead of a lot of other people in the industry. That it puts is, me yeah. ahead and I just keep going as much as I can. And then when it comes time to like clock out, I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm done. I can't do any more today. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. That's like, um, you were talking about like the the walks you go on or um, things like that. And it's like, you want to make sure that you're taking care of yourself for the energy. Like you need energy to produce, you need energy to move. And so you want to make sure that you're decreasing like anxiety and stress and all that. So meditation actually helps me a lot too. So I'll meditate at least once a day, whether it's at the end of the day or at the beginning of the day, I like to meditate at the beginning of the day because it kind of sets the tone. But a lot of times meditation helps me to get rid of everything extra that I'm thinking about going into the next day with. And it's like, relax, that way I can actually go to sleep and get sleep. So meditation is a another great thing that you can utilize when it comes to making sure you're just focused on the present, like the right now, like, what do you need to do? Figure that out, let that go, but just breathe, like de-stressing. Absolutely. And everyone's yeah. morning routine, because a lot of times people love it. It was a hot topic for many years of like, oh, what's CEO's morning routine? Oh, yeah. This, that, the other. It was always <laughs> hype. For me, I'm just like, do whatever works for you. Try some yeah. different things. So yep. secure might meditate in the morning. For me, I literally every single morning, I walk downstairs, I make a cup of coffee, 
I feed my cats. Mm -mm. I go down one more flight of stairs to my office and I immediately start working every day. I don't, I don't hang around. I'm not like watching TV or doing this, that, the other. I just go down and I start working every single day. That's my routine. Yeah. And it works for you. And it works for me. Yeah. You know, because I just, that's how it is. So if you have a different morning routine, totally cool, but Mm -hmm. find something and try different things. I've tried many different things over the years. So just find out what works best for you. Stick with it and always try to improve it. Yeah. I think at the end of the day, like every, everyone is so different and um, yes, there are systems and things that you can utilize to become a better person. But at the end of the day, it's going to be what works for you. Like what is going to push the needle for you in your household, in your business, because you may not be the one that's going to get up in the morning feed the cats and go straight to work. You might not be the one that's going to get up and go meditate. For you, it might be you're going to sit on the patio and drink a cup of coffee and get some sun for five to ten minutes. Or you may journal or you may talk to a friend or a family member on the phone for ten minutes every morning. Like it just it may be completely different for you. Um, So be open to building your own routine and what works best for you. But the key is. You got to get things done. Yeah, (laughs) you got to get in and get that is the key, especially if especially if I think about back when I started this business, it was more of a side hustle that I wanted to eventually make full time. Mm -hmm. And it took two and a half years. So I've talked about it before where I didn't pay myself for two and a half years right? and pay myself from the business. Mm -hmm. Now I had a full time plus 50 hour week job right? and I was doing that and I would do the business before and the business after. It was really tough for a couple of years. And then when I went full time, it was still tough for a couple of years. Yeah. And still today it's tough. It's, it's never gets, I wouldn't say easy things change. Yeah. So you're pro- as you grow, your problems just get bigger. So yeah, the problems to like that saying more money, more problems. Yeah. So it's like the problems just get bigger and you deal with bigger things, but you learn how to deal with it over time. Mm-hmm. So my problem today that I think maybe is big next year, I'll laugh at it and be like, Oh, that today would be so easy. Yeah. So you have to be ready to grow as an entrepreneur because things are going to come up. Yeah, that's true. And I think that um, you got it. Like you got it. You can do it. Just stick to the plan. Sometimes the plan may don't divert from the plan, but sometimes the plan you'll need to make a pivot. And so I think that um, it's possible for you to build a business. It's possible for you to be successful in business. You just have to have patience. A lot of it. And if you need a roadmap, I do have Hair Business Masterclass. Yes. And also Fearless Beauty, which is an amazing book, book. that mm-hmm. literally gives you the ups and downs and and teaches you as well. So I would definitely grab that book also. Um, you can get it on Amazon. And where else can they? Well, actually, what I'm doing now is if you join the Hair Business Masterclass. You get a free copy. You get a free copy. It's a download, but okay. still, you get yeah. a free copy. You get the planner free copy. Mm-hmm. So I'm adding some digital resources. Because okay. really the idea for the Masterclass is just to get get people on the, on the roadmap. So I give yeah. them the roadmap. I give them the blueprint. Okay, step by step, let's get into this. If you watch my videos on YouTube and everything else, you're going to learn yeah. one way or another. Absolutely. Like I'm, my goal is to get you unstuck because mm-hmm. I see a lot of our clients get stuck. Yeah. And if I can make true. it so you're working with us and I can get you selling more hair, we all win together. And yeah. then that's a great story. And then I get more messages where Mikey, I got my first sale or Mikey, I had a thousand dollar day yeah. and I'm like, let's go. Yeah. And I, so get the master, join the master class because you'll get a free copy of the book. And if you are, like me, I like to read hard copy books. Then you yeah. can go on Amazon and grab the hard copy also. Yeah, I'm definitely, I don't even buy paperbacks. Like I buy really? a hard cover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's just something I have, I, I and I have so many books that I haven't read yet. And I'm like, one day when I have time and I'm not working so much, yeah. I'm just going to sit here and read, read. Like, so much every day. Yeah. And I'm so excited. And hopefully it'll be in a, an exotic place. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah, even up my sky miles, guys. It goes that you can just pull from the tree. <laughs> yeah, something like that sounds cool. It's not always reality. It happens sometimes, yeah. a few times a year. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so it's it's just a dream to be able to just read a lot more than I do. Yeah, like maybe I'll get there one day. Definitely, not, no maybe. So I'll get there one day. Yeah, soon. 
soon. <laughs> yeah. So thank you guys for tuning into this episode. Make sure if you have not listened to any of our other previous Hair Biz Radio podcast interviews, you go back and listen from episode one. There are a ton of people that we've had on the podcast that have poured into us and to our clients who uh, share business information, business tips, their journeys, their stories. So make sure you check those out. Also, let us know if there is anybody that you would like to hear from. We'd love to get them on the show. And we'll be back soon with another episode. Later.